<laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. And I'm thrilled to welcome superstar and new host of A Current Affair, Ali Langdon, joins me for a little round of mm. I've Just Got to Ask. Now, this is something that I've made up just for you, Alison, because I imagine there are plenty of questions you want to ask all these famous people that you interview. Mm. And indeed, the dodgy roof tilers that are ripping off lots of pensioners as well. You want to ask them stuff. Well, look, I, can I say I had both of those stories last week in my first week at a current <laughs> affair. So. I love Thanks for them. Watching. Are you excited for your first uh, crazy neighbour's dog story? We've got one tonight. Oh, amazing. <laughs> they are the best. They are the best. It is the rich tapestry of, of a current affair in that we do the, the, the dog, you know. Yes. Neighbour story into, you know, big issues like domestic violence and what have you. We cover yes. it all. Yeah, that was a really moving interview last week as well. And uh, kudos mm. to you. You're just wonderful. But back to the, uh, the, the segment in question. I've just got to ask, what would you ask? Okay. Prince Harry, without fear or favour, one question. Prince Harry, Mm. one question. Mm. What's the name of the older lady? (laughs) Pipped your cherry or popped your cherry? What is it? Pipped your cherry? Popped your cherry? Alison. What is it? (laughs) I can reveal that she has come out of the woodwork. I, I read that article. Do we really think it's her? I don't think it is because at the time mm. she was 19 at her 19th birthday party. That's not an older woman. Yeah, and even that article where she talked about, I can't believe he didn't give me the heads up. But it's like he didn't name you. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't name you. I, actually, I don't even really want to know because I think that was, I just think that's also gross. Who do you, who do you think, do you think it's gross? Who do you think it might be though? Like, I'm, I, will, I want it to be like Helen Mirren. <laughs> <laughs> that would be She's iconic. too classy for she, like you know, the, the paddock out the back of the pub. Wasn't there a whole lot of talk about it maybe being Liz Hurley? But she's come out and said, absolutely no way was it me. Has she Would denied? you admit to it is what I want to know. Would you admit to it? Yes, I would. <laughs> I feel like Liz would as well. I think Liz would. Yeah. Yeah. See, I wouldn't. I mm, wouldn't. Yeah. No, I wouldn't yeah. either. No, you're absolutely yeah. spot on. All yeah. right. I just got to ask one question. She was in the news last week because her eight children turned 14. We came to know her as mm. Octo Mom. Mm. What would you ask her? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Eight kids. I know. And like, why? Uh, yeah, exactly. Why? And why? and how? I mean, my goodness. I don't remember all those stories and then she went quiet for a while. But can you imagine 14? I mean, you've got a 14-year-old, Chrissy. Can yeah. you imagine times four, um, times eight in I, your house? I cannot imagine the smell no. of hormones. Ooh. And Ooh. oh, hell in your face. <laughs> it's all ahead of you. <laughs> hey, uh, I don't have eight of them. Yeah, that's true. Now, just to give you a recap, Octo Mom, she had eight mm. kids, but not one after the other. She had them all in one go. You can Google her and find out. All right, mm. last person for I've just got to ask. He's been in the news a lot lately. Okay. Ex cricketer, commentator. And I know where you're going with this. Bare chested noosa fighter, <laughs> mm-hmm. Michael Clark. Mm-hmm. Okay, two high-profile women. Mm. Maybe, how did you think you'd get away with it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great question. I don't, I don't know what the answer would be, so I hope you get an opportunity to interview so him. So do I. <laughs> well, ha- is a current affair chasing what, something with Michael Clark? do you think? We're chasing everything. Yeah. Every possible story you can think of at the moment. We are on the phone and we're chasing hard. It is unmissable TV. Now with Alison Langdon at the helm. It's 7pm Channel 9 every night and tonight, what a what a bonanza. The uh, the neighbour <laughs> from hell story that we're all been waiting for. <laughs> hey, thanks Ali. It's always a thrill to see you. So lovely to talk to you, Chrissy, and well done on the new gig. You are killing it. Thanks, mate. The Chrissy Swan Show. Thrilled to welcome back the very first Our guest first we've guest. ever had on this show, the great Sarah Arbo. Woo! It is so nice to be back, you guys. Last time we spoke to you, we were both starting new jobs. Um, yes. I mean, Chrissy, look, the good were. news is is that neither of us have been fired. <laughs> 
And 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 we've passed the probationary period. It's been three months, so they can't even fire us oh now. Oh my god, it has too. I didn't realise. I'm yes. going to go full sexual harassment now, <laughs> and and see what what I can do. Um, I want to put you through a round of. I've just got to ask. Now this is mm-hmm. how it works, Sarah Arbo. You have interviewed thousands of people. Amazing. You're a wonderful journalist. Mm-hmm. But if Thank you, you had. <laughs> A studio set up with just a stool. They always do that, don't they? Just a stool. Yes, it's more menacing. Yes. Uh, And Jennifer Coolidge was sitting on that (gasps) stool. The great actress from White Lotus and whatever that Apple Pie movie was. American (laughs) Pie. (laughs) Um, What is the one question you would ask her? I would say, Jennifer, why didn't you just take the stairs? Yes. Yes. It's just not fair. That, that a is, legion of fans tune into that show just to see her and she's ruined it for us all. I know she has. That's that's a good question, actually, because it hasn't really spoiled that much. No, it hasn't. No. Um, yeah. All right, your second person, Jennifer Coolidge, has been ushered out. Several mm. minders have had to take her. <laughs> and now sitting on the stool in front of you is host of Front Bar and uh, panellist, I guess, on Have You Been Paying Attention, my oh. ex-colleague, Sam Pang. Oh, Sam Pang. Well, you know, my question to him would be, what's it like to be unemployed? (laughs) But apparently you've just mentioned a couple of his employers, so apparently. I don't know, I'm yet to see any of that. Listen, is it a crime to want to work once a week for two hours? No, (laughs) apparently not. All right, Sam Pang has been ushered out because we can't pay him enough to stay any longer. No, (laughs) And now sitting on the stool... Ready for your one question, Mm. is Tracy Grimshaw. I love this woman. I do too. It's tough, but my question to Tracy has to be, you taught Carlos everything he knows, didn't Mm. you? Yes. The answer is yes. Obviously. I mean, yeah. It's not a very sophisticated question, is it? She's (laughs) such a queen, (laughs) isn't she? She's such a queen. Having said that, Ali Langdon's doing a brilliant job. Ali is also a queen. Yes, yes. that's true. Chandler's full of amazing women, I'm just going to say. That is true. Mm. That is true. Mm. All right, Sarah Arbo, as usual, an absolute delight. Um, we're still oh. employed. Great. That's good. Yes, I'm so <laughs> relieved to hear it. Will you come back Ooh. on in three months just to see if that remains the case? Yes. In three months, it's a date. Fantastic. I love you. Thank you so much for joining us. Love you guys. Bye, mate. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. We're joined by like gold Logie. Loser. Loser. <laughs> Larry Emder. You can catch Larry on the morning show. Why wouldn't you? 9 a.m. weekdays with his work wife, Kyle's, and uh, and the chase, 5 p.m. weekdays. Top of the morning, end of the day. I mean, how good is that? On Too much 7? Larry, as my wife said. <laughs> Larry, I knew that we'd be seeing you, so I didn't click on this article, but Daily Mail kept feeding me. A headline about you last week about an X-rated feature. Oh yeah, in your home. Yeah. What was this true? Was it just clickbait? What is the X-rated no, feature? No, it, it's true, but it's also good clickbait. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're selling a house. We've got a, a lovely. Uh, it's a, a shipping container home. It's really unique in Kangaroo Valley, a uh, couple of hours south of Sydney. And in that home, it's like this design industrial design museum. It's set up like it's mm. really industrial and fantastic. Cool. And, uh, and the guy we bought it from, who's a famous architect, had just filled it full of all these crazy things. Uh, and one of them is a statue, a timber statue of two people um, making babies. I guess making babies. <laughs> okay. yeah. I don't know who's listening to your show. Um, but uh, doing the wild thing. And yeah. uh, that, that's it's sort of in the middle of this amazing home. And when it went to market, this uh, someone has picked up on this. Oh, of uh, course. I'll call it a fertility statue. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some parts of the world, people look at that and go, yeah, that's great. You would in still Australia. Be, still be doing it, though, surely. <laughs> oh, it's a self-portrait, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We are going to do a round of I've Just Got to Ask with you. Okay, because okay. you, I mean, imagine if you'd started counting when you started your career how, uh, or, or your interviews. There would yeah. have been... Thousands. Thousands. Tens well, 16 of thousands. years. We're, the morning show's been going for 16 years. Actually, yesterday, mm. 16 years yesterday at number one. Mm. So oh, we've had a great that. time, but we've. It's still, still no gold Logie. <laughs> the network hates <laughs> <laughs> Um But, 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 uh, we, yes, we've interviewed 
Thousands of Thousands people. of yeah. people, and some of them would have been so terrible that <laughs> they would have made me weep with <laughs> laughter. Yes. But if you had just one question okay. to ask Michael Bublé, what would it be? How do you make a perfume <laughs> smell like Michael Bublé? Did he Great bring out a perfume? Question. He did. He brought out a perfume. He did. I'm like, dude, just sing. Just do your thing. <laughs> my <laughs> just my sing. thing with perfumes is I don't believe it. I don't believe celebrity perfumes. I just, no. I feel like some marketing person somewhere has just made a perfume and the, the star's gone, there you go, sign it. Yeah. Apart well, from you, Kylie because she has to have a hand in everything. Kylie Minogue yeah, or I Kylie tr- Gillies? I trust her, Kylie Minogue. Right, right, right. I'd like to do a scent. I could do a scent. What would it smell of? Just virility. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon kebab and wet dog. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Like when I walk past you go, oh, there's a man. <laughs> there's a man whose neck stinks. <laughs> kebab and wet dog. I tell you what the top note wouldn't be. <laughs> yes. Gold Logie. It would not be Logie. <laughs> it would not be that. It would, there would be an absence <laughs> maybe, maybe, of awards stiff. Sniff. Maybe, maybe I'd just put an essence of spray tan in there so you could sort of think, yes. oh, maybe the Logie is what it smells like at the Logies. Oh, my God. All right. You have hosted a thousand game shows. What would your one question be for baby John Burgess? How do I win a Logie? <laughs> <laughs> and let's finish off with uh, they've been in the news you know, every day ev- since they met each other, yeah. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. In fact, you can choose. You've got one question. Who would it be for first? Harry. Prince Harry or Meghan Markle? Harry. Okay, Harry. What is your question for Harry? Dude, take me back to Vegas. I want a n- game of naked billiards yeah. with you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and your friends, not just you. <laughs> yes, and then we could get that made up into a statue and you can put it in your next house that you're going to please draw. <laughs> Larry Emder, you are a joy. Catch Larry on the morning show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Gold Logie nominee joins us, Sonia Kruger. Chrissy Swan. All right, let's put you through a round of I've Just Got to Ask. We've got a list oh. of celebrities here. Okay. And if you just had one question, what just would you ask question. them? Let's start with the host of the TV Week Logie Awards, TV's Night of Nights on Sunday, Mr. Sam Pang. I'd ask Sam... Do you get? Are you going to be nervous? Do you get nervous? Because Sam never looks nervous to me. He always looks like he's really in control and so cool. That's true. Yeah. Collected, you know, but I wonder whether deep down is he a seething ball of insecurity like the rest of us? <laughs> I mean, the answer is yes. He <laughs> yes, is. Okay. Yes, he is, yeah. All right. You have one question for Carrie Ann Kennelly. Oh. Oh gosh. Um. What really happened on I'm a Celebrity yes. Get Out of Here yes. with that fight that went down over the, what was that, that kudu testicles? <laughs> kudu testicles. Kudu testicles. Yes. yes. And, and, and the make, makeup gate. Makeup yes. gate. Yes. And has she, has she made up with the chick? Dom. I can't remember. Domenica. Dom. Domenica. Yeah. Has she made up with Domenica? All right. One question for Daryl Summers. How is it that all of my one questions end up being five questions, Chrissy? I'm terrible at answering just <laughs> no, I one love it. question. Daryl Summers, one question for Daryl. Um, you okay, hun? Sp- <laughs> 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 How do you feel about doing the skybox, Daryl? <laughs> <laughs> Those stairs are a bit uh, of a killer, though. I was going to say, that's, a, that's an interesting way to refer to heaven. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You've got one question for Courtney Kardashian. <laughs> oh. Jack has just introduced oh. me to the new Kardashians. Yeah, me, I'm so into it. I'm obsessed, Sonia. And when si- Chrissy and I lived together in Sydney, and you, that whole scenario happened to be on this episode. Yeah, oh, it's in the new where season. We up. Yes. Yes. I know, I saw it. I had friends in America texting me going, oh my God, you're in the Kardashians. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, Courtney. Courtney, Courtney, I just want to know what is Poosh? Yeah. What is that company? <laughs> well, I don't understand question. that company. What is it? <laughs> and what actually happened that day? What did you guys ask that made her not answer? 
It was about Kim because the robbery had just happened ah. in Paris, mm. and and they I think they had specifically said that she didn't want to talk about it. But you know, being sort of a, a, an investigative journalist as I am, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, just joking. But you know, you really you've got to ask the question, don't you? Absolutely. We just wanted, we were we were inquiring as to whether Kim was okay following all of that and she just stopped talking and we could see her blinking. She was blinking like, I'm pretty sure she can hear us. This is weird. It was epic. It was amazing. And you dealt with it so well. Look, good luck on Sunday night at the Logies. Oh, thank you so much, We guys. will definitely cut the rug together at the All In After Party, Sonia Kruger. You are an absolute joy. It's on. It's on. See you there. Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.